Hi, today I'm going to show you how we can make a health bar that's similar to those used in strategy games. So we'll start by making a new application. We need two objects. First is the health bar object. We'll make this one wide and however big you want it. I'll do four, four high. Make it white so we can color it. Uh, which color we want, and put the hotspots in the center. Rename this North bar. Then we need an active object that's going to have the the health bars. This needs three values. First is size. Second is health. Third is max health. The reason we want the size value is so we can change it if we have larger objects. So we can use one code for every object. And if you use, uh, if you rotate the the object, it gets wider so you can't use this uh, you can't use this uh, width function here so let's get some art for the active object My object is only 20 wide, so I'll set uh, the size to 20. And the health bar also needs a value, ID. So let's start by uh, making a code so we can create objects. So we'll create an active object and set its position x to x mouse and set position y to y mouse and we'll create a health bar as well relative to it and set um, the id value to the object's fixed value. Event. And we want to start a loop count for each object on the health bar. We'll call this health bar. And on those loops, health bar, if the fixed value of the active object is equal to the health bar's ID object. This will scope both since we use the loop for the health bars and since the active object is the one we're scoping, then we, we are scoping both of those actually. Then we'll set its x position to the active object's position x left edge. We'll set the y position to the active object's y bottom edge plus the health bar's height. Then we'll set the x scale to the size times parentheses health divided by max health. Also, remember to 
multiply this by 1.0 to get the float value. So this will now return a value between 0 and 1. If we didn't do this, then it would only return either 0 or 1. So the health bar would either be full or non-existent, and we don't want that. Zero quali quality, since we it doesn't really matter. Then we'll set the uh, RGB value to get RGB. Uh, RGB stands for red, green, blue, as I said in a previous tutorial. So the first value is red, and we want to set that to 255. Minus the active object's HP times 255 parentheses and divide this by the max health of the active object. So now we'll set the green color. This will be actually the exact same as here, but we don't start with 255. So this one will increase as uh, the health drops, or uh, as the health increases, this uh, will increase, and as the health in increases, this will decrease. And we'll put zero for blue. So now, let's see if we create an object. Yeah, this active object needs to have health and max health. We'll just set this to 100, make it easy. So when I create this, then we see they get uh, their health bar underneath. So we want to see if we can make their health go down. We'll do this by holding down the minus key. Then we'll just subtract one from health and this should make all the health bars to subtract yeah. you can see they change color as they get lower so they get more and more red of course if um, the value health is lower or equal to zero, then we'll count for each object, destroy, and on the loop destroy. If the uh, ID value of the health bar is equal to the fixed value, the active object, then we will destroy both of them. Like this. And if you want to see if it works for different sized objects, we can set the size to random range, whatever you like just say 20 to 60 and set the scale to the size um, this code will differ uh, if you have a different sized object so you should make uh, a code that fits your game and uh, it's consistent but for me this one will be the value of the size times 0 0.05 1 for maximum quality so now they will have uh, a random size as well and the health bar will always fit the object so I think that covers everything and I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time